Deswegen, ob am jeder ien, es für ein Aches Duia Ampere, für ein Duna Volt zu Ampere. Um, they ask you to give the definition of potential difference. Let's go to the train. You have to see the definition of the train. Yeah, yep. English is it's the amount of energy transferred per unit charge between any two points in the circuit. Amount of energy per unit charge between any two points in the circuit. Calculate the effective resistance of the parallel part. So you start off by writing your formula. Is it in up there? Yeah. So, with other words, RP is 2. Oh. Important, make sure that only for your final answer you write down RP. The rest is in up RP. Okay. Goed, dan zullen we voor ons um, die lezing, oh, hij twee, twee punt eens. Die lezing op die voltmeter V1. Okay, so what do we do? We figure out what we have. So ons kort V, met andere woorden, ons moet I en R kan instel. Het ons die hoeveelheid stroom wat hier door die zuster vloei? Do we have the amount of current flowing to that resistor? What is that? 2, no? What is the weerstand of that resistor? 6. Come now. Twelve volts. Then I ask you for the reading on ammeter A2. Okay. Now, there's more than one way to work out. The one way would be to say that this whole component has a resistance of 2 ohm. Through that whole component, we know um, that there flows a current of 2 ampere in total. So I can go out work, what will the total potential verschil be over the whole one? And then remember, in a parallel component, the potential difference is the same everywhere. So then I can say, okay, if I have that potential difference, that will be the same as what's going through there. So I can calculate A2. What is another way that I can do this one? Anyone, how does the current split in a parallel component? I can most omgekeerd aan die weerstand. Okay, so do you see that the resistance here, the resistance here is one high. Resistance is one to two. Nee? Met ander woorde, die stroom gaan split 2 tot 1. So you can use either of those methods. I'm going to say resistance of 3 ohm to 6 ohm is 1 to 2. Meaning that the current splits 2 to 1. 
en sien jylle ammeter 2 is by hierdene ingeskakel met ander woorde, het derde van die totale stroom vloeit dier om. So 0,67 ampere gaan dier hom gaan en die ander 1,33 gaan dier die boonste tak gaan. So if we have a component here, Nee? Dan gaan nou dier hierdie ene vloei 1,33 ampere en dier hierdie ene gaan nou vloei 0,67 ampere. En sien jy as ons die twee by mekaar tel, dan kom ons weer by die totale stroom uit and the current flowing through the top one is double that flowing through the bottom one. Ja, ander methode werk so. So remember for this next method you're going to look at this whole thing. Ons begin eerst daar, ons gaan kyk eerst na hom as een geheel, en ons sê, in geheel daar so, vloei daar een stroom van 2 ampere dier die hele ding, and the total resistance of that component is 2. In other words, the potential difference is 4 volts. So if I were to put a voltmeter over this whole thing, it would read 4 volts. Nee? Maar onthou nou, of jou om so oorskakel, of net oor die onderste tak, of net oor die boonste tak skakel, all of them will have a reading of 4 volts. Stem jy dit al? So nou gaan ek sê, om maar die jylle ding sin 4 volts is, hoe jy nou? Because this whole thing has a potential difference of 4 volts, I can say, 4 volts will flow through that one as well. So nou vraai onderste tak, om die stroom uit te werk, gaan ek sê, I is gelijk aan V op R. Selfde antwoord. Why? Because V is the same everywhere in parallel components. Ongeacht wat er een van die twee gebruik het, same dies. Angel by. Goed. Now they ask us for the resistance of R. So, if you've done what we've done here, you already know that this voltmeter takes 12 volts and that this component takes 4 volts. En ons weet, ons die potentiaal verskille moet optel na 24 toe. So in other words, V total will be equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3. Daar is 24, ons weet, ons het hulle 12 gespandeer en ons weet, ons het hulle 4 gespandeer. So, so the potential difference going through resistor R will be, ja man, 12. Nou, 8. Nee, want het moet ons weer optel tot by 24. So, if I know the potential difference through there, what is the current flowing through there? 2 ohm, nee? Ach, jok, 2 ampere. So, dan gaan ek sê die weerstand is gelijk aan die potentiaal verskil gedeeld dier die stroom. Goed, en die laaste ene daar sê hulle vir jou, 
die hoeveelheid lading wat in 3 minute dier die 6 ohm resistor vloei, so ek gaan die 6 ohm resistor uitwerk wat apart is. Die memo het gemaakt dat jy kon enig een van die twee gekies het, maar ek gaan nie makkelijkst enig wat. Ok, daarvoor moet jy onthou, lading is gelijk aan hoe gaan ons om uitwerk. Nou jylle dit. Ek denk dat ek ongeveer sê dat die boord ook valt. Kom voel het nou vir my, dit moet wees I op delta T. Is dit recht so? Goed! So daar vloei 2 ampere dierom en onthou tyd moet wees in sekondes. En onthou sy eenheid is koelos. Goed. 